probably gonna die editing this video, so you're welcome. Howdy, hey YouTube, my name is Tom, it is 1.25 in the morning, I am thoroughly terrified, and my watch stopped working at 3.07, which is really freaking me out, because 3 o'clock is the witching hour. And it's Halloween. So I just got back from Queen Mary's Dark Harbor, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a giant haunted house on a giant haunted ship. The Queen Mary is a ship that is stationed in Long Beach right now that was built around the 1930s, and the best way to describe it is like a bigger, faster Titanic. The ship was originally used for like luxury purposes on like cruise lines and stuff like that. You'd go to the Bahamas and stuff. But then as soon as World War II hit, that all changed. The normal 2,000 people that it took onto the ship changed to more like 5,000 or 6,000. They were all cramming these soldiers into these tight quarters on the ship, and it was making huge voyages. I think it traveled over 600,000 miles. And with that many people cramming into one ship, there was a lot of deaths. There were actually 49 confirmed real human deaths on the Queen Mary. And that's where they decide to throw a haunted house. Not gonna lie, if I'm a ghost and I see people eating corn dogs and french fries where I drown in a pool, I'm gonna be a little pissed. First off, who has the audacity to throw a haunted house where people actually die? The Queen Mary is so haunted that two men actually died by getting crushed by a door. Imagine getting crushed by a door. What is, what is the family supposed to write on that tombstone? Here lies Kevin. Lost a fight with a door. <laughs> if I got crushed by a door, I am haunting the shit out of that door and anyone who walks by it. If you even look at that door the wrong way, I'm gonna haunt you until you crap out your small intestine. So I have a group of four or five friends with me walking through these subpar mazes and we think everything's going great. We're getting scared, we're laughing, we're having a good time, we're probably gonna get haunted later. But the only thing that I could think of as we were walking through these mazes is that this is such a bad idea because it's actually haunted. There have been so many haunted sightings on this ship that it is so freaking creepy. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. There's been children laughing. There's been this girl named Jackie who walks around with her teddy bear late at night. Sinks that turn on by themselves. There's been knocking on doors. There's been distinct door slamming. The ship doesn't leave the harbor anymore, and the thing is you could actually stay the night on this haunted ship. That's right, you can pay money to sleep in the same ship that 49 dead people sleep in. I mean, why would anyone in the right mind want You guys hear that? So what did we learn? Do everything humanly possible to not study. You can check your fridge. You can hit up some mad honeys on Club Penguin. That's what I like to see, bro. You could check your fridge again. Maybe there's some lasagna left over. You don't know. You gotta check again.